Okay, here is an original effect by Warner Miller. It's called Undo. And I will add a link in the description below to his original performance. So if you want to take a look at that. I will also add a link to his entire library of ebooks that contain hundreds of mathematical card effects. So certainly take a look at those. I will also add a link to something called hyper codings, which is the quote randomization process that we're going to use within this routine that I've kind of added to Warner Miller's original routine. And so if you want to understand hyper codings and how they work, take a look at any of the links below that take you to performances in which that idea is used. Okay, so for this, you ideally need two spectators. So we'll say spectator A and spectator B, okay? Now, uh, each of them just need uh, four random cards. They can choose them. Okay, that truly is the case, four random cards. Now, what they're going to do, you have them each look at their card, their top card, that is. Look at their top card. Note their top card and then switch the placement of those cards. So spectator A puts their card here, spectator B puts their card here, okay? Now what I thought we would do just to keep things, um, you know, not too complicated to help you kind of see what's going on. Let's say the top card for spectator A is the ace of diamonds and for spectator B it's the two of diamonds, okay? So they would note those, they don't see each other's cards nor do you as the performer, of course. And then they would just set them down on the opposite pile, just like that, okay? Now you as the performer, just stack the left on right. Don't make a big deal, just do it. And now we're going to randomize these cards by offering the spectators a choice of any one of the remaining 52 cards in the deck, okay? So you could have either spectator, if one feels strongly about doing this, that's fine. Have them randomly reach in here and grab any one of these cards. So maybe they grab uh, this one right here, okay? And so that's the card we'll use to randomize this packet of eight cards. And the way that we'll do it, let's take a look at it. It looks like it's the ace of clubs. What we're going to do is we're simply going to spell out the eight clubs in the following way. E I G H T O F C L U B S. Okay. Now, since there's two of you here, why don't we do it a second time? E I G H T O F C L U B S. Okay. I think you would have to agree that the ordering of the cards could not have possibly been anticipated by anyone, including myself given the fact that you, or one of you at least, randomly chose a card name for us to use to thoroughly mix this packet of eight. Okay, now from here, all we're going to do is something that some people claim is a magical shuffle. It's called the under-down shuffle. But we're going to do it in a way that most likely you have never seen before. So let me show you this. So the under down shuffle goes like this. You go under, the next one goes down. But what we're going to do is we're going to put them down left, right, left, right, okay? So down, under, down on the right, under, down on the left, under, down on the right. So you just continue to do that until all of the cards have been set on the table, okay? And now you turn to spectator A over here and you ask them, what is the identity of the card that you saw? And they're going to say Ace of Diamonds. That was their card to remember. And then you turn to Spectator B. What was your card that you saw? And they'll say Two of Diamonds. And you can say, well, I don't know how surprising it would be given the fact that you switched your cards and set them on top of the other's packet. And then we randomize these cards according to a randomly chosen card by one of you. So given all of that, I don't know what any of us could hope would be the case with certainty here, but nonetheless, go ahead and just turn over your top card 
And then each of them will pick up their top card and go, what in the world? And they're most likely going to think, oh, if I just had chosen a different card for us to use in this spelling randomization procedure, this here would not have worked out. Well, the fact is it would have worked out. So let's quickly kind of talk through that, okay? So if you do what I've shown you here, this will work for you every time. Uh, the only thing I really need to explain, besides the you know, procedure I showed you, is Warner Miller's procedure, which is incredibly creative, and it will work every time. Uh, this supposed randomization is an idea that I introduce on my channel. It's called two identical hyper codings. Okay, so let me just explain how this works. So we can even kind of go back to where we were, but with a packet of eight cards, it is the case, if you take a look at the information in, in the description below, that you can use any of the 52 card names and spell them out twice, and it will return this packet to its current organization. So it'll return it to its current order, okay? In fact, maybe we'll just show it with the top card here, not changing. So here we have two of diamonds on top. So if we choose any card, four of diamonds, and you just spell out F-O-U-R-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, and then do it a second time for the second spectator. F-O-U-R-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, the packet will be returned to its original order. In particular, the two of diamonds has been returned to the top, as well as all of the cards below it have been returned to where they started. Okay, so that's probably the only additional subtlety that I need to explain to you, but this idea of two identical hypercodings in the way that I'm using it here will work for any packet size 8, 9, 10, or 11. You can use any one of the 52 card names and you can return that packet to its original order by this supposed randomization system of spelling out that card name twice, okay? And then all of the rest is self-working and is Warner Miller's creative work in action. So I encourage you to take a look at his original routine link below as well as his library of card effects. And I also encourage you to take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.